Because what I understand and what I realize is that the blessing and responsibility is not sold separately. Like when God answers our prayers, whatever that is, like he don't just say, okay, here's the good and that's it. No responsibility. No, God's like, okay, this is what you wanted. And also here's the responsibility with it too. What up, everybody? It's your boy JK today. It's Thursday. So you already know what it is. It's Tackle Thursday with JK live on IG and a recording for the, my YouTube channel, which you can go subscribe to after this episode, which is type in Jeremy Keller, man. Subscribe, click, follow on the podcast, uh, on the YouTube. And I'm also recording for my podcast on podcasting platforms for Anchor, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, man. And topic that I want to tackle today, you can see it pinned in, pinned in the comments, man, is I'm thankful for the responsibility. I'm thankful for the responsibility. And let me just get straight to it, man. Uh, this morning, um, yesterday, I didn't have school, right, um, because of the snowstorm or, or, you know, ice on the ground. So they canceled school. And, and so this morning... I woke up in the middle of the morning and I, and I found out that we had like a two hour delay, right? That I was going to go to school two hours later, right? So which means I can afford to wake up a little later. And I kept checking. I kept checking if my son and daughter school, if their, if, if, if their school was going to cancel or go two hours later, right? Because I knew like if they was going to go later, I really was going to get to go ahead and go ahead and lay back down. And, and I just kept checking, kept checking. But my, my kids' school, they was out two days in a row. So I'm like, man, I doubt it that they're going to take another snow day three days in a row. So um, the text message never came in. Email never came in. I went to the social media page. I'm checking to see if the kids out of school. And and as I'm, as I'm checking, I don't see anything. So I'm like, gotcha. Like, I'm like, got it. All right. Kids going to school today. All right. So I'm like, all right. So I don't get to sleep in for me, right? I don't get to sleep in. Even though I'm going to work later, I don't get to sleep in because the kids going to school. And so I get them dressed. We get in the car. And we driving in the car. And I just, I heard like the Holy Spirit God like speak to me, man. It was just like, man, like the thought went through my mind. Like, man, I'm thankful for this responsibility. Like. I'm thankful for the responsibility to take my kids to school, right? And because, yes, I wanted to stay asleep. I wanted to get a couple, another hour or two in um, of sleep. But my responsibility as a father was, a hey, take your kids to school, right? And I had to think, like, hey, I prayed for kids, like I prayed, me and my wife prayed to have kids. And so we prayed for our kids and what comes with that is responsibility of taking care of them. And 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 at, and at different ages, that responsibility may be different or it may look different. And so at this age, that responsibility today was, hey, sacrifice your own sleep and get your kids to school. And, and instead of getting to a place where I was complaining or I was upset or I was frustrated. I couldn't sleep longer because I have this responsibility to take my kids to school. I, I rested in a place of thankfulness. I was thankful and I am thankful for the responsibility to take care of my kids because this responsibility of taking care of my kids comes with the blessing of having my kids. And that's how I got to this topic today. And that's what's crazy, man. A lot of, you know, topics that I have, it can, be uh predetermined it can it could be um or it can be spontaneous and 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 come day of and and today's topic did like i'm thankful for my responsibility right because i know i prayed for my kids but i'm also thankful for the responsibility associated with the blessing and what i realize us as humans a lot of time man that that gives us some pain sometimes like pain points of frustration in our lives is that so many times we just focus on the blessing, right? We we pray for the blessing and, and, and I'm guilty of it, right? When working with my scholars and even myself, I, I focus a lot on vision and write your goals down. It's 2023, write your goal downs, write your goal downs, focus on the vision. And 
when we focus so much on the blessing, on getting the blessing and all the great things that come with the blessing, um, we can be blinded by the blessing. We can be we can be blinded by the blessing and, and believe that that's all that comes with it. It's just blessing and good things, right? Uh, but what I realize is that a blessing, any blessing comes with responsibility. Any blessing comes with uh, things that you got to take care of and do. But when we just stay locked in on a blessing, we can be tricked. We can be like, like so for instance, I, you can look at somebody on social media or you can look at somebody and you say, oh man, I want that car. Oh yeah, man, I want a, I want a foreign car, a nice car. And you see it on social media, you see it in pictures, you see it, uh, it's being posted, it look nice, it drive fast, it's creative, it, it's, it's just awesome. You see it and, and you love it and you enjoy it and, and, and you want it so bad because of, the, because of the good things, right? But you don't know that the oil changed by $500 on it. You don't know to get your car fixed every time the inspection might be a 150 because all you did was consider the blessing, right? We, we pray for a business and, and we wanna be entrepreneurs and we pray to be entrepreneurs and I'm not, I, I'm for it, right? I'm for it, that's what I'm working towards. But so many times we look at the aspect of, of being an entrepreneur, especially as young adults, we, we look at the glitz and glamour. Yeah, man, I make my own schedule. I travel here. I go on lunch dates. I, I do this. I do that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm my own boss. We look at all the glitz and glamours when we pray for, for to become an entrepreneur. We pray to own our own business. We look at the glitz and glamours and we focus on the blessing and we ignore the responsibility that comes with the blessing when God gives it to us. Because what I understand and what I realize is that the blessing and responsibility is not sold separately. Like when God answers our prayers, whatever that is, like he don't just say, okay, here's the good and that's it. No responsibility. No, God's like, okay, this is what you wanted. And also here's the responsibility with it too. So for my kids, this morning was that example. It's like, okay, you prayed for kids. You wanted kids, Jeremy. Here you go, your kids. Here your blessings. And then God was like, okay, here are also your responsibility of taking them to school. And just because you don't have to go to work until two hours later, you don't get to sleep in later because you got the responsibility of taking them to school. And so as humans, if all I do is just focus on the blessing, like, yes, God, thank you. Thank you for blessing me with kids. But, but then I get upset. If I got upset, uh, oh, man, I got to take them here. Oh, they need this for school. Oh, they need. Then what I'm saying is, God, I just wanted the blessing. I didn't want the responsibility. Like, if you just want to be an entrepreneur and want your business and, 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 and want to travel and, and be your own boss, but you don't want the 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 responsibility of handling payroll or the responsibility of hiring staff or the responsibility of handling your own marketing or the responsibility of, of getting your own health insurance because you're not with a, a, a corporate job. If you, if you don't want to accept that responsibility, then you just wanted the blessing. But the blessing and the responsibility is not so separately. Like that's just what it is. And so what, and I just, like I said, I heard God speak that to me today, man. And I just drove my son to school. I drove him to school just in a, in a place of thankfulness. Because I'm thankful for the responsibility because I know that this is what I prayed for. I prayed for kids and, 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 and that I know that responsibility of taking care of them comes with this blessing of having kids. And, and, and so when I say that, it becomes a pain point that when all we do is focus on the blessing and we don't consider the responsibility, oh man, we find ourselves frustrated, right? It's like you want to be a D1 athlete because I, you know, I teach high school scholars, they want to be D1. And, and, and the thing is, um, like me, I had a rude awakening when I got to college because I'm like, yeah, I want to be D1, D1, D1. Man, I had my first college workout, I almost quit. Because all I thought was D1, we about to be on ESPN, uh, we about to be on ESPN, ESPN2, oh, we, we sponsored by Nike, oh, yeah, man, I'm going D1. And then 
I met the responsibility of being a D1 athlete. I had to work out, work out in the weight room, worked out on the fit. We had to run, worked out in the weight room, ran one tens, and we had 707. All in a matter of about two hours. Boy, I almost quit. Not including that I was out there running one tens in some air forces. But nevertheless, I almost quit. Why? Because all I was focused on was the blessing. God blessed me to be a D1 player. Oh, he blessed me. But God said, okay, yeah, here's your offer to MT and here's your responsibility. And when that responsibility came, it almost broke me. But glory be to God, you know what I'm saying? I see it through, right? I ain't quit. But I had to understand that, okay, here's the blessing of being a D1 player, but here's the responsibility of being a D1 player too. It goes hand in hand. You can't, you can't have one without the other. That you got the blessing and the responsibility. And what we got to understand, what can give us relief or what can allow us to excel or to accept the whole package is if we consider the responsibility. See, when we, we got to consider the responsibility that when we sit down and we get on our knees and we pray and we ask God for blessings or you going after certain goals and dreams. You want to start a new business. You want to be elevated. You want to be promoted. You want to go to uh, have another job. You want to get married. You want to have kids. See, all of these are blessings. And so when we write down our blessings, when we wrote, write, write down our, our New Year's resolutions, yeah, that's great. We wrote them down. But what we also need to write down next to our New Year's resolutions and we, is, is that we need to write down the responsibility next to each and every one of those blessings. That, that if it was, hey, I want to be, I want to get married this year. Okay, write down the responsibility of being a spouse. With all, all that's going to come with that. Oh, oh I want to be a D1 player. Okay, okay, you want to get an offer this year? You want to sign? Okay, cool. Now write down everything, all the responsibilities that come with that. Oh, you want to be a parent this year? Oh, okay, then. Well, write down all the responsibilities that come along with being a parent. And I think if we consider the responsibility that's associated with our blessings then we'll be much better. And we will handle the blessings much better. And I think that the result of considering the responsibility that comes with our blessings is that we make better decisions. See, I, I, I get asked sometimes, man, um, at my school, different people, man, man, come coach football, come back and coach football, come back and coach football. And though I love football, and I love and I enjoy coaching high school football. I don't just say yes because I consider the responsibility of being a high school football coach. Um, man, I just had my boy Antonio Finellis, the new DB defensive back coach for Illinois in the Big Ten. He was just on the podcast. Like, if you missed it, uh, it was impromptu. He came in. I brought him in, man. Chopped it up for a little quick second. But I thought that that was the avenue I wanted to go down, right? Um, of being a college football coach. And, 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 and every football season, when it get around like the playoffs and like the, 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 the bowl games and stuff, I look and when I see te coaches win and I see them celebrating, I envy them a little bit because I'm like, man, I just want to experience winning, winning another football championship. Like that's real, that every football season, when it gets to that end, I, I, I'm like, man, I wish I could get that experience. I want that experience again. And guess what? Then I consider the responsibility. And I say, man, okay, if I'm a college coach, probably, you know, gotta travel, gotta recruit, I won't see my family as much as I would want to. And though that that getting that job, that opportunity would be a blessing for me, um, I consider the responsibility that comes with it. And because I consider the responsibility that comes with that, nah, that ain't for me right now. Right? Because I consider the responsibility. And I think that if we looked at every blessing, if we looked at everything we prayed and asked God for, if we looked at every goal we set and we not only wrote the goal down, but if we write down the responsibility that comes with it, it may make us or cause us to make a different decision than what we would normally make because we consider the responsibility. I had a scholar, man, and I'm, I'm about to, you know, get ready to get off here, but I had a scholar in my class uh, that I teach and I had them... Right now, I said, where do you want to be in 10 years from now? And so, so the girl went down, she went to scholar, she went out writing. She's like, okay, in four years, I'm going to have this undergrad degree. And then two years, uh, master's, I'm going to get this. And then I'm, I got to go get my doctorate. Uh, she said, oh, man, so I'm going to be 30? 
before I get into my career, my career job. She said, oh, she said, ah, oh, man, I'm, I might need to switch careers, right? Now, prior to doing this, prior to considering the responsibility, oh, she all in, oh yeah, this is what I wanna be, I wanna be, I'm gonna be this, I'm gonna be this. But when she sat down and considered the responsibility that accompanied that she started to, she started to look at it a little different. Why? Because she considered the responsibility and she realized that, oh man, okay, I know I wanna be that, but if that responsibility comes with that blessing, then that might not be the career. And I think if we do that with all the goals we set, everything we pray for, if we do that, then we'll make better decisions. We will, we will decide, all right, okay, maybe marriage right now for me, because uh, I, I understand the responsibility that come with that. All right, I thought I wanted kids, but I looked at it, man, that the average cost of a newborn baby in the first year is about $10,000. Ah, that responsibility, ah, not right now, maybe. Or, right, so it, it might make us make a different decision when I consider the responsibility, or what it also could allow us to do is, it could allow us to see it through a situation. It could allow us to, to persevere through a situation. And what I mean by that is that when I know the responsibility, like for instance, I know that marriage is work. I knew, it, I knew marriage was work before I got married. Right? So before I got married, I considered the responsibility that comes with being a husband. Now, you can't prepare for it eh? because it's something that you grow. You can't really, really prepare to be married. But, but I understood that marriage is work. And because I understood marriage is work and I considered the responsibility now that I'm married and I'm, and I'm confronted with work that I got to work. I got to work to get better. I got to work to improve every day. I'm not caught off guard because I already consider the responsibility that comes with the blessing of being married. So when we consider the responsibility, then, then when we do get blessed with whatever that is we pray for, we're able to persevere. We're able to stick with it. We're able to see it through and understand like, nah, I knew that this was what it came with. I knew like becoming an entrepreneur. Yeah, I knew that, that, that. I wasn't going to know when a check was coming that I would have, I have every month. I got to go out and grind to, 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 to provide for myself. I knew I was going to have to go out there and get my own health insurance. Why? Because I considered the responsibility that it was going to take for me to be and become an entrepreneur. So, so me having kids, having to, okay, yeah, I don't have to go to work at this time, but my kids got to go to be to school. So I got to sacrifice sleep. Oh, I consider that responsibility. I understand that there are sacrifices as parents. So when I'm confronted with those sacrifices, now I'm able to handle them better. Not be, they're not always easy, but I'm able to handle them better. Why? Because I knew, hey, I knew a hey, responsibility comes with being a father. But if I don't consider the responsibility and I go ahead and pray for the blessing and I get the blessing, then I get caught off guard by the responsibility. Now I want to lead a situation because, hey, I ain't know I had to do all of this. I, ain't, I didn't know being a, a, a business owner was going to come with this. Man, I ain't know being a spouse was going to come with this. Man, I ain't know being a father or a mother was going to come with this. Man, I didn't know that being a D1 football player was going to come with three workouts in a day. So whatever, I, I'm closing with this. Whatever, that, whatever blessing, whatever goal, whatever dream you have, write it down. Pray for it. But also, next to it, write down the responsibility that it's going to take, that's going to require of you when you do get that blessing. And that way, when you know the responsibility that comes with the blessing, then you accept it all together. You accept all those charges. You, you accept it as a total package, man. So, hey, I want y'all, man, hey, I appreciate y'all hopping on um, for another episode of Tackle Thursday with JK, man. A podcast. Hey, be sure to go subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, which is Jeremy Kellum. Um, you can also 
go and watch the, the 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 visual the video of it on youtube or on the recordings of the podcast you can go listen to the recordings of the podcast on on apple podcast spotify and anchor man so uh, once again hey continue to wake up strive to win on purpose be intentional about winning and y'all have a blessed day